Kia ora koutou and hi everyone. It's been another huge year here at the Hawke's Bay Regional Council, Te Kaunihira Arohi or Te Matua Maui. One of our most important jobs as a council is looking after our community in the face of flood events. We had two big events this year in March and in April. Uh, in the north of the region and in the south uh, where heavy rainfall threatened our communities. Our teams were out working night and day uh, to protect uh, those people on the ground. We were working with our rural uh, landowners, uh, we were working across our pump stations, our flood protection infrastructure, making sure that everything was fit for purpose and protecting our communities. And certainly that was uh, pretty challenging for those people living in those communities and highly disruptive for a period. It's great we've been able to get alongside and help people both during the event and in the recovery afterwards. So we've done some great work doing some mapping with helicopters, satellites, etc to understand the impact of these events and to plan the recovery effort and to work alongside our community. Now we know that floods are going to continue to uh, come at us and they're expected to get more severe and more frequent with a change in climate. So we've had a focus this year on upgrading our flood protection infrastructure here in the Hiri Tonga area and we've also started getting gravel out of the upper Tuki Tuki as well to improve the level of uh, protection that the flood infrastructure provides there. Into the, this coming year and the years beyond, you'll see us doing more and more work upgrading that flood protection infrastructure, raising our stop banks, and making sure that we have future-proofed our region for a change in climate. We do know though that we've got to do more around reducing our emissions, all of us do. And so it's been great this year to start off with our new Climate Action Ambassador, Pippa McKelvey Sibilo, who's out there in the community engaging around the development of a regional climate action plan. Uh, you can come, go to our website and learn more about what we're doing and get involved as we work with our communities to reduce our emissions but also prepare for the changing climate that we know is coming. That's going to be an issue at our coast and we know that we're going to face more sea level rise, uh, storm surge events and that combined with flood events presents some particular challenges for our coastal communities. So it was great this year to consult on the regional council taking the leadership role across the region on managing our coastal hazards and our adaptation to climate change. Lots more to work to do on that strategy and as we uh, roll out more and more infrastructure to protect our communities, we'll be talking to you more about this in the coming year. As part of helping everybody to reduce their emissions, it was great this year to launch our on-demand public transport trial at the MyWay service in the Hastings area. We're going to roll this out in Napier in the year ahead and it's been really great to see the uptake of people getting out of cars and choosing to use this flexible on-demand service as a way of reducing their own carbon footprint and using a public transport option uh, which is flexible and really responsive to people's needs. So it's great to have got that up and running uh, in the year that's been. It's also been great to see record numbers of people out on the Hawke's Bay trails, uh, out on their bikes and using that as an alternative uh, for getting around as well. Our work on freshwater continues and we know from a changing climate uh, that we need to do more around our water security. So it was great to be able to complete uh, the planning around a managed aquifer recharge trial on the Rui Tanifa Plains in central Hawke's Bay. And we've got work coming along nicely in terms of the options for some water storage uh, for the Hiritonga area in the upper Nararoto catchment on private farmland. And you'll hear more about these proposals coming forward as we consult the community on how you'd like us to protect you from an increasingly drying climate that will also see heavy rainfall events, which we've got the opportunity to capture and store for those dry summers. Our work uh, restoring our native environment continues and we've done uh, more to restore our, uh, our lake systems and our Fatuma, Lake Whakaki uh, near Wairoa and the work is going to continue in the year ahead to get our pest plants out of these areas and improve the water quality in many of the lakes across the region. We're continuing to do more with our communities to get trees in the ground. We know they bring so many benefits for birds, for uh, water quality, for sequestering carbon and improving our biodiversity. This year we worked with over 60 community groups to plant more than 102 hectares of native plants. That's more than 250 football fields. We also worked this year with our first pilot property, our farm, to put more trees into their landscape for their future economic as well as environmental benefit. 
putting both indigenous and exotic trees into the farming system and we'll be rolling that out on other pilot properties to demonstrate what can be done to bring our farming, our pastoral farming and our, uh, our forestry together in a way that works together for better environmental and economic outcomes. It's been a really good year for understanding what's going on in the environment. This year was the release of our three yearly State of Environment report and that was complemented by doing our first ever uh, bird survey along the whole coastline of Tamatawa Maui, Hawke's Bay. That's enabled us to see uh, where our threatened species are and where we've got quite healthy and abundant populations of bird life along our coast. In many places the story's good and looks to be improving and in other places it's clear that we've got more work to do to protect our vulnerable bird species. But this information gives us the baseline to understand where to put our effort and to measure how well we're doing. This year we've continued to improve our focus on regulation and making sure that those that got consent conditions they need to meet or that have to follow rules that sit in our regional plan are being complied with. We've had more people on the ground uh, checking on compliance and dealing with those people who are breaking the rules and polluting our environment. The good news is the overwhelming majority, more than 95% of our consent holders, are complying with their consent conditions. There continues to be though just a small number of people in the community that break those rules and pose uh, threats both to the environment and to the health and safety of others. And so we're taking firm enforcement action in relation to those cases. And what we are seeing from that additional focus on regulation is some positive change in behaviour and a reduction in some of the worst activity such as burning plastics and uh, toxic uh, substances uh, in open fires. This year we began consulting our community on a complete rewrite of our regional rules that protect our environment. This is our kōtahi plan where we're bringing together all of our planning instruments and looking at our environment as a whole. We're going to engage our community significantly over the next couple of years as we write this plan for our future. So it's been a fantastic year where we've achieved so much with our community. and This has provided a fantastic platform for the year that lies ahead. We know we've got a lot more mahi to do to protect and enhance our environment, uh, but we do know that we've got a strong base to work on and we've got a solid work program uh, that's well resourced by you, the ratepayer, and that is lined up to work alongside our community to help everyone in our region enhance our environment together. So if you'd like to know more about the big year we've had here at the Hawke's Bay Regional Council, check out our annual report online.